Hello everyone and welcome back and in today's video I thought it would be cool to give you guys some ideas on poses you can do when you're taking pictures of your outfit to post on Instagram hashtag OOTD This video is definitely inspired by the dear Jen M. She did an amazing job in her video of Instagram poses I'll leave it in the description box and it inspired me to just give my take on the video because you can never have enough poses I've particularly been posing a lot over the years since I have a style blog and I also take style pictures for Instagram but you obviously don't have to be a blogger to post outfits on your Instagram every now and then and on that note sometimes if you lack practice it might be a little bit harder to get the right poses posing right can elevate your photo even if your outfit isn't a big deal it's all about the attitude and that sass so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 10 easy go-to poses each pose has its variations as well as different angles so let's start so the first pose is the strut and it's all about putting one leg across the other you can extra bend your hips if you want to look more curvy or you can just just keep it natural for the strut you can take a picture from the front angle side angle or diagonal angle and the lower you position the camera the taller you look I particularly think it's a nice pose to do when you are wearing fitted clothes because it sort of accentuate the curves even if you don't have any just do the hip trick so the second pose I like to call the lazy sleigh and this is how you can do it if you don't have a bag one hand on the leg and then another hand on your hair and this is how you do it if you are sporting a bag one hand on the bag and another one on your hair so the next three poses involve a wall and the first one I really don't know what to call you almost do a four with your legs and you put your arm above your head like so the next pose is simply placing one feet on the wall and for this particular one having the camera diagonally to you is the best way to capture this pose. The next pose is about placing your hand on the wall and just pose naturally. You can be with your legs crossed or open or do whatever you want with the rest of your body. The next pose we can call candid spaced legs <laughs> and it's just about placing your legs wide open, strengthening your back, place one hand on your hip, another one on your hair and if you have a bag you can place one hand on the bag and another one on the hair or both on the bag. You can just be free with this one as well. So the next pose is the cross leg and I like to tilt my head a little bit when I do this one. A variant would be if you're having pockets on your outfit, so I'm putting my hands on it and BAM! The next pose is the casual walk. You simply take a step forward and slightly bang your other leg as if you were casually walking. <laughs> Having the camera in front of you at a lower angle works best with this one. The next pose is the bent leg and look back. <laughs> and this is perfect if you're trying to effortlessly show your behind, keeping it classy. Just bend your leg like this and look back at the camera. I believe having the camera in a diagonal position to your back is the best way to capture this photo. And the last pose is basically all about props. I couldn't leave props outside of this video because they make it super easy to pose and if you're an awkward person, props will fix it. Props could be your takeaway coffee or any takeaway drink, it could be a fan, it could be your phone, it could be a rose. For this particular one, I picked a rose and I had a lot of fun with it. So yeah guys, these are my 10 easy go-to poses for you guys to slay your outfit photo and I hope you guys enjoyed it, I hope you guys got more ideas Make sure you thumbs up this video if you got inspired and if you're going to try any of these poses and yeah, let me know which other videos or which other tutorials you guys would like from me because I'm having a hard time deciding what to film so let me know your ideas down below and yeah, subscribe if you haven't so you won't miss my next video and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys on my next one Mwah.